Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing in Tarot. This is Christina and today's pick a card is their thoughts and feelings. What are they feeling towards you? This is, could, could be somebody you're with, somebody you want to be with, or somebody you used to be with. Um, however it resonates with you. I apologize for the hologram cards, um, but I only have so many decks that I use, so we're picking with a with these cards. I know they're a little hard to see, but just bear with me for a short period of time here. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. Take a deep breath with me. Pile one, it says nature communication. Pile two, becoming braver. And pile three, do not drink the poison. So, uh, or do not drink poison. Take a moment, pick the pile you are most drawn to. I know they're a little dark, a little weird, but that's okay. Um, we'll see what your person's thinking and feeling. All right, Pile One, if you choose the Nature Communication card, then this one is going to be your reading. I'm just going to put this down here for now. We'll come back to it. Let's get Tarot first. Eight of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. Knight of Wands. Temperance. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I think your person's worried that you might not feel the way that they feel. Your person is um, super attracted to you and they're wanting happily ever after with you. They think that you, uh, they could have so much abundance in their life with you in their lives. Uh, they are ready for a change. So. If you're not with this person, they're starting to get ready to come forward to be with you or try to be with you at least. Um, or if you are with this person, then it's about to get deeper. You're about to take the next step or they're, they are. They um, absolutely want you in their life. They're nervous though. They're, you make them nervous. Why? Um, but your person is like, you know what? Like they have this little bit of a rebellious streak in them. They're like, I don't care. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to take the chance. Um, uh, they're passionate and uh, your person's charming. They are just um, someone who's going to make you smile. They're going to make you laugh. Like you're going to see through some of that charm. Like you're going to be like, yeah, I... I you know, I get it, but like, they make me feel good. They tickle my fancy. You know what I mean? They're, they're just really going to be like, you're just going to adore this person, it feels like. So I think they're getting ready to change the situation with the temperance. I think they've uh, been patient long enough. At least that's how they feel. They're starting to get anxious and they're starting to want this to move a little bit more quickly. But I definitely feel like you could be really, really happy with this person. Um, I love their energy. I do. I love their energy. So let's see uh, what else comes out. Oh, you got the star, which is hope. And then, and wish fulfillment, right? And then we have seven of pentacles. And this is patience and planning. So they're, they're scheming. They're in their head. Their, their wheels are turning. They are definitely putting together a plan. Um, I think their hard work's about to put, pay off. So, you know, I don't know where you're at in your relationship with this person, but it's about to get juicy. It's about to step up a notch. It's about to get move a little bit more quickly. Um, they have hope for this. They have hope that you're going to feel the way that they feel. And, um, like I said, they're ready to, uh, dive in. All right. I kind of love them for that. <laughs> Here we go. 
courage. Yeah, they're, they're gathering their courage. They are, uh, your person is kind of courageous. Like, they're brave. They're, like, brave enough to say, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready to take a chance. I don't care what happens. Like, I got to know. Like, I got to... I gotta know if we're gonna, you know, be something. So they're getting the courage, and like I said, they're formulating some kind of a plan here. Now, is that plan to come to find you and ask you out, or is it the plan to ask you to marry them? I don't know, but they're 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 coming up with something here. They're gathering the courage to do it. Flash over. It's all in your head. Yeah, see, they are, they're nervous. They're in their head a little bit. They're, they're afraid of rejection. They're afraid you don't feel the same way that they do. Um, but it's all in their head. Of course you're going to feel the same way they do. Well, not of course, but I think you do. I mean, that's the energy I'm getting from the cards is that you are happy about this, that you would, you would absolutely um, want to take a chance with this person. So I think they're in their head a little bit. And that's, you know, it's understandable. It's, you know, relationships are nerve wracking at times, right? Because we all just, we all want love. We all want our love to be reciprocated. Nobody wants to be um, shot down or rejected, left behind. So I get it. Persistent drive is your next card. And see what you desire and move towards that goal. Oh, so they're giving them a little bit of a push, a little bit of encouragement here. It's time to zero in on your purpose. Use your intuition and instincts to guide you for the optimal outcome. So they're, they must be like overly nervous a little bit here. Um, why are they so intimidated or scared? Are you giving off like, um, you know, the, the um, I want to say cool vibes, like not the warm and fuzzy, like where they would be invited in. You being a little standoffish, you acting like you don't care. If you are, I think it's a defense mechanism, right? But. I do feel like you care, and I do feel like you are warm and fuzzy for this person. I just think you're playing a little hard to get, some of you. I don't know, but get ready. Get ready. Life's about to to, to get interesting. It really is. You're, you're about to start this amazing adventure. You're about to have a really cool experience, it looks like. Nature communication, flower energies, fairy energies, and elemental energy messengers. All right, so you're about to receive flowers, I think. Oh, wow, that was a big confirmation. Um, You know, all these flowers are like pink and purple in here. So you could, and this is purple, you might be getting some purple flowers. But for some reason, yellow is standing out to me. I think they want to bring you yellow flowers, but they're afraid you'll interpret the yellow as friendship. And this is not a friendship feeling. This is definitely romantic. They are in love with you or they... They have uh, deep feelings for you, so they don't want you to misinterpret. But for some reason, they want to bring you yellow, but you might get purple or pink. I don't know. It's funny. If you do receive flowers from somebody and they're purple or pink, you need to ask them, will you consider, you know, bringing me yellow? Because for some reason, I think that they are. It's crazy what I'm thinking, but I think that they might be. But anyway, I think you're about to receive flowers. Oh, Valentine's Day is coming up, right? I don't know. Let's see what else. Luck. 
A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Well, yeah, we see that. We see that. So is that for your person or for you? I think either way, you're both going to end up benefiting from any kind of luck because luck is on your side. You have the Wheel of Fortune here, too, that says the same thing. So, like I said, I think life's about to get interesting and fun and very, very happy. Very, very happy. Let's bring it on, right? Bring it on. Let's go. We can handle this. You're very close to achieving your goal. What is your goal? I'm going to put it. I'll put it down here. What is your goal? To be uh, married, happily, happily ever after type of thing. What is your goal? But I think you're close to it. I think you're going to get what you want. I think your wish is coming true. Wish fulfillment. Somebody's got a plan. Lisa of Pavarti. Right. We're going to have to read 32. What does Lisa want to tell us? 32. There is a gentler way to proceed and obtain the same or even greater effect. Tame the wild and frenzied working of the mind by grounding yourself with beauty, pleasure, and grace. Okay. Violence and its negative effects shall be overcome and healed through feminine gentleness and inner spiritual strength. This oracle is a sign of great future happiness. I don't think your person is violent at all. I don't know why this is coming out for you. Um... I just think that they're trying really hard to show their softer side. This must, might be like a tough guy or, you know, like, um, you know, have a someone who has a tougher exterior. And they are really trying to soften, to show you the gentler side, to show you that they can be soft and loving and caring, too. Um, I think their natural exterior or their nat natural, their natural um, personality is to be tough, to be alpha, to be strong, to be protective, you know, and I think they're trying really hard to show you the softer side here. That's why I think you might be getting flowers. Um, but this is a sign of great future happiness. So this person is going to make you really, really happy. Uh, like I said, I I like your person. Uh, they make me smile. They put a smile on their face because they're charming. They may be a little, you know, like um, flirty. Flirty. They're definitely flirty in a, um, I don't know, just a fun way. I just really like your person. And if they, uh, you know, uh, alpha and confidence and that, that tough exterior is attracted to a lot attractive to a lot of people um but this person definitely has a softer side they just don't know how to show it all the time like this is somebody who does not cry you know like you're not going to see them cry you're just not they that they don't have it in them um if you do it's 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 going to be powerful it's going to be really effective you know, um, but I, I, I just adore your person. They have a lot of love to give. They really do. They have a lot of love to give, and it looks like they want to give it to you. So uh, that's that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. Let me pull you some charms. All right. Resolutions. So something needs to be resolved. I don't know what. Oh, maybe you had a big fight with this person and that's why, uh, you know, they're about to show you the softer side of them. They're about to uh, show you that they can make this work. 
I don't know, but if not, it could be, I mean, resolutions could be a couple different things. It could be like they're, you know, uh, finding their resolve to finally get the courage to <clears throat> ask you what they need to ask you. I don't know, but love is definitely in the air here. You got to keep it. And I do believe this is a soulmate of yours. I do believe that you are meant to be together. You have the key to success. You have your angel here loving you, supporting you, guiding you, and your person here. Uh, I think there is going to be a change coming. There's something changing. Um, oh, look at the, you got Paris. You got the Eiffel Tower. Usually that means travel for me, but for, for this reading, for some reason, they're showing me love. Like they want to show you the romantic side. They want to show you love. Gotta love that. I, I love that. I love that. There's something very romantic about to happen. <laughs> as romantic as your person can be. Because, um, you know, sometimes when they're that, you know, tough guy exterior, and it, then they can be female. I'm just, you know, using um, examples here that I'm familiar with. Um, where was I going with that? I lost track. Anyway, they're going to be, uh, oh, they, they might not know how to show, you know, they might not know how to necessarily be romantic. So they're going to do the best that they can. It's going to make you smile. You're going to have a big smile on your face soon. I really, I really think so. So, uh, yeah, good luck. This is beautiful and I, I wish you all the best. This is amazing. All right, Pile One, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. All right, Pile Two, if you chose Becoming Braver, um, this is going to be your reading. We're going to put this aside for now because I want to get tarot first. Let's see what we got. The Lovers. Knight of Swords. Seven of Swords, High Priestess, <laughs> Judgment. So how does your person feel about you? They still think about you. They want to be your knight in shining armor. I think they want to do over with you. I don't think this is somebody you're with. I guess it could be. I guess it could be, but I don't know. Seven of Swords is here, and you know that's my liar, cheater, and thief. So I think they lied to you or they cheated on you. Or I think they might have misled you at some point. Um, so I don't think you're with this person. But if you are, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Um, I think your person is getting, I, I've, they, I don't think they can stop thinking about you. I think they've tried. I think they've wanted to. I think they, they they tell themselves that you're not their person. But to be honest with you, I think, I think deep down they think that you are and they want to do over. And I don't know if you're going to get a do over. To be honest with you, I think your person has like this hero complex. I think they want to be the knight in shining armor all the time. They want to be the one that's, you know, um, the good guy, the one that fixes things, the one that people look up to, the one that you pat on the back all the time. And I kind of get the feeling that you're a little more independent than that. I kind of get the feeling that you challenge them a little bit like I can take care of myself I, you know I I love that you want to do this for me but I'm just as capable so you're not necessarily allowing them to be the hero that they want to be because you feel I don't want to say suppressed but like like you don't want to feel like you're incapable either you're not because you know that you're not 
So, and I don't necessarily think that this person wants you to feel incapable. I think that they just, they want the spotlight on them. Like, they want to be the hero. They want to be the one that, like, the pro, like the provider, the one that makes more money, the one that um, is smarter, so the one that solves the problems. And I, I, I kind of feel like you are either their equal or maybe even a little bit above them in that energy. I don't think they could handle you very, like or they didn't know what to handle, how to handle you. I, I'm getting the feeling that they were so attracted to you, who you were, that strength, that determination, that grit. They saw a lot of their qualities or how they perceive themselves in you. And that, that is what initially attracted them. But once you guys were together, they're like, but I, I want to be the boss. I want to be the one that's the hero. I, I want the spotlight. Like, it's a control thing. It's a control thing. So I think that they were super attracted to it. But once they got in the energy, they, they kind of uh, felt insecure about it. That's, I mean, that's crazy. All that is crazy from what I'm getting from these cards. But that's kind of what I'm feeling. So, uh, you know, that's very, very intuitive. It's not necessarily what the cards are saying. But, um, yeah. So, I feel like you might have felt portrayed in some way where they told you that they loved your independence. They loved how strong you were. They loved that you can take care of yourself. They loved that... You didn't have to depend on them, but I think they lied. I think they lied. And I don't necessarily think that they lied. I think they thought they liked all that, but then it made them feel small. So I don't know, but that's what I'm getting. And that's kind of crazy to me, but that's what we got. Oh, but here we got four cups. They are not happy without you. And here's that seven of swords again. So I think they're lying to themselves, to be honest with you. I think that they've been lying to themselves, that they're fine without you, that they don't want you, that you're not who they wanted, that you're not um, what they need in their life. I think they're lying to themselves. I think you're absolutely perfect for this person. I think that you would put this person in their place and straighten them the hell out. But are they going to allow that? They got a control issue here. They have control issues. Now, I don't think your person's a bad person. I don't. I just think that they have like a hero complex. You know, a lot of like um, police officers and military, those strong alpha type personalities, that's kind of what this is. And some people find that super attractive. And other people think, Ugh, are you kidding me? Really? <laughs> you know, um, especially more as we evolve as a society. And uh, women are really uh, realizing that they've been suppressed all these years. Um, that they don't need a man to take care of them. That they can take care of themselves. So, yeah. Yeah. It just depends on how you feel, but your person's struggling. I think that they want to forget about you, but they can't. I think you got under their skin. I think that they know that you're their person, but they don't want to admit it. I think they're lying to themselves. I think they lied to you, too. I think they prom made you promises they couldn't keep. I feel like that's your person. They want to be the hero. So I do feel like they, they made you promises that they they couldn't keep. So I, I do think they lied to you. They could have cheated just to kind of um, try to feel masculine or try to feel like um, superior. They could have. I don't know if they did or not, but they could have. I think it's more about lies. But I, I really do feel like they're still lying to themselves. I don't know. It just depends on... Uh, I don't know if this is ever going to happen. I don't know if you would even want it to happen. 
with knowing how they are. Um, but I, I think that's why you're here because I think you do want to get back with them. Is it the right thing? I'm not sure yet. I'm really not. It depends on if your person can uh, compromise and heal a little bit, you know, feel confident with an independent part person. I don't know. Let's get some more cards. Healing from the past. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to heal from the past. Um, they're trying. I don't think that they have. I still think they think about you. Make peace with your past. <laughs> they're living in the past. They are definitely uh, regretting some things or at least not forgetting some things or replaying things in their head. But these cards don't give me... Um, they're not telling me, yeah, this person's coming back. They're not saying that. They're not saying that they're not. They're just not saying that they are. So I don't know. But they do know it would be a mutually beneficial venture. Yes. There is an extraordinary connection at the forefront of your life at this moment. Utilize this relationship to benefit everyone concerned. So they know that you would have given equal give and take. They know that they could have conquered the world with you, basically. They, that you weren't the person that would idly just let somebody take care of them. You know, you're not the type of person to be the stay-at-home mom. You might for a little bit, but after a while, you're going to be like, I got it. I, I got it. You know, do something with my life. Like, I kind of feel like you have just as much ambition as this person does. You like the finer things in life. You want the finer things. You're not afraid to work for them. And that same same energy that your person's putting off, I feel like you're putting off that energy as well. So I think that you would you know, like being a mom or a father, but you're not that, that softer side. Like you've got to, you've got to do, you got to feel important. You got to feel like you're contributing. And, uh, so like that means that you guys could have so much in this life with your both, with your, both of yours drive, that drive that you have for success you guys could really conquer the world together. Um, I just don't know if your person wants that. They know it. They know it. And, and part of them loves it. Part of them wants that. But the other part wants the barefoot and pregnant wife. I don't know. And, you know, I'm not really, I'm trying, I'm just giving you examples. It's not really, you, you could be any gender, okay? Becoming braver, resilient, experienced, growing stronger, fresh perspective. Yeah, I do think that they're getting a fresh perspective. I do think that they've been thinking about this a lot. And I think that they're trying to come to terms with what they can um expect from a partner, what they can uh, ex accept from a partner. I think that they do realize that they, they are who they are, right? And they're trying to change. They're trying to be better. I do think they, they are trying to be better. I do think that they recognize the flaws. Um, but can they get there? I don't know. Because they might be like, well, this is who I am. They are, they are thinking about it. Jealousy. Mm-hmm. Watch who you trust. No, it's not about watch who you trust. This is them. They do things to try and make you jealous. And I think they are actually, it's because they are actually jealous of you. That you're not boo-hooing in a corner crying over them. That you're moving on. You're having a life. That you are fine without them. I think it bothers them. 
I think it bothers them. You must be very attractive. You must be attracting attention because I really do feel like it bothers them that you uh, have other, other attention. And I think that they try to make you jealous. I think they do. But it's because they're the one who's jealous, not you. You might be a little jealous, but I think it's actually more them. You are good enough. Well, you know, this card is basically telling you that you're good enough, but it's also telling them that they're good enough, too. they got to realize that. I think that they, they have this controlling nature for a reason. They've been hurt in some way. I don't know if they've been made fun of or bullied or whatever, but something got to them because they don't feel... They don't feel worthy. I don't know. I think they have a, you know, um, a tougher exterior than they actually are. Okay, 34, Sacrament of Extreme Unction. I'm going to have to read that. Your heart knows how to let go so you can find peace. It's time for you to experience spiritual closure. A beautiful new reality is opened up for you. Entering it requires you to release your attachment to the past. You've been inwardly preparing for a powerful rebirth. Now it's time to trust in what is meant for you and move towards it with an open, trusting heart and peaceful mind. I don't know. This card just, I mean, it makes me feel like you guys don't belong together. That it would never be harmony. You guys would always be button heads, always be struggling with each other. And not that there's not feelings here, because I do think that there's feelings here on both sides. But I, I just don't think that you're meant to be together, especially with this last card. You always have to do what's right for you, though. If you feel that I am wrong, that is okay. You know, you could go and try and be with this person. Um, but I don't know. This card is making me feel like it's time to move on. It's time to let it go. It's time to heal from the past. You got to do what's right for you. Let's, let's pull a few charms here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, well change transformation balance balance being restored here's your alpha male yeah i think you both have that alpha energy but you got the wreath so something could come full circle it could maybe in june more change more transformation Stability, freedom, abundance, more abundance. I, I, I don't know what all this means. It's, you know, other than the, something has to change. Something has to transform. It could be your relationship that needs to change and transform. Or it could be like you have to just let go and, and move on and move on to somebody different. You take it for how it resonates with you, how you feel about it. You got to do what's right for you. All right. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All of those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light. Hi, pile three. If you chose do not drink poison, then this one's going to be your reading. We're going to put this one aside and, uh, for now, so I can get tarot first. Okay, here we go. The moon, the world, seven of wands, five of wands, king of wands. The 
This person doesn't know how they feel. I feel like they feel a little defensive. A little combative. I, this must be somebody you broke up with. Because there's feelings here. They're not over you. Um, but they, they're they like, I guess I feel anger towards you. Or at least frustration towards you. Um, it's not as strong as they hate you or anything like that. But they there's still, still some unresolved maybe hurt here. I think they want closure. I think they've been trying to move on. I think they've been stuck. I think they've been in limbo here. Because they're, they're, they don't know how they feel. They're, they're wishy-washy. They go back and forth. Where they want you in your life, but they're so mad at you for what you did, for hurting them. They're hurt. They're hurt. They have passion for you, though. They think about you. They have passion for you. But they don't like themselves for it. They beat themselves up for that. Hmm. Mental conflict. Yeah, they're definitely up in their head. They're definitely up in their head. I think, you know, I don't want to say love and hate because that, that's, you know, hate's a strong word. I don't think it's that. It's, it's love and hurt more so than anything that they keep flipping back and forth. No, I would never let them hurt me like that again. They, they don't get to come back when they, after what they did. But they still care. They still love you. They still would love for you to be in their life. But they didn't want whatever happened to happen. Uh, are they a Leo? They could be a Leo. Um, they're trying to find their strength, their courage to maybe just... Uh, I kind of feel like they want to just kind of let go and forget about you or move on. But either that or they're trying to find their courage and strength to make amends, to forgive. They are too in their head right now for this to be anything. So if you're hoping for a reunion, they've got to come to some kind of resolve first. So, I mean... Maybe if you want to be back together with this person, you would have to approach them with an apology. That would resolve it, I think. That would help them. That would help them in some way. I don't know if it would work out to your benefit or not, but I think it would help them. But if you're expecting them to come forward to you, and they're not. They're too confused. They're too back and forth. They're too wishy-washy. Unless they get drunk and drunk dial you, I don't. I don't see it happening. Hmm. Changing their mind. Yeah, that's what this person keeps doing. They keep changing their mind. They want you. They don't want you. They want you. They don't want you. Mosaic. Let chance play its creative role in your life. Uh, if it happens, it happens. Chance by um, a chance encounter. I don't think that this can be um, constructed. Uh, I don't think it can be manipulated. I don't think it can be put together. I think... I think if, you know, fate or destiny or serendipity comes in and plays a part in this and you guys happen to come face to face together somehow, some way, 
okay. But as far as making some kind of a plan and controlling the situation, I don't think that's going to do anybody any good. Hmm. Let's see. In the light of the moon, a full moon can shine light on what you have been resisting. This can be anything from your fears to your soul's beauty. So they need to figure some things out. They need to figure out what they're resisting. Are they resisting the urge to contact you? Are they resisting the urge to let you go? They need to figure this out. They are just confused. They need closure somehow. And I don't know if they're going to get it. Do not drink poison. Do not do things that you know are bad for you. Are they using coping mechanisms to uh, deal with life, to get over you? It could be. That, that card could tell me that they're trying to use coping mechanisms. They might be drinking too much or indulging in other ways. Reckless behavior. And it's because they're hurt. I still, I think your person's a good person. I just think that they are just confused. Sunshine, the sun is shining on you. Well, that makes me feel like things can get better. I just don't know how. I kind of feel like you were the sunshine in their life and now they're stuck in darkness and they don't know how to find their way to the light see how this person's like fragmented that's kind of feel that's kind of what I feel like they are they're fragmented but they have great potential if they could just get their act together Balance spirituality and practicality. So usually when this is this is um, this card comes out, it's it's they have to take some kind of action. It can't just pray for something. I mean, b believe me, I believe in the power of prayer. I I tell you guys to do it all the time. I tell you guys to talk to the other side, to the divine. Ask your angels and guides for help. I tell you that all the time, and I believe that they are there helping. But I also believe that it's humans as physical beings you know there's some things that non-physical beings can't do they can't help you in some way you have to do it yourself you have to take action and i kind of feel like that's at this one of these times where your person has to take some kind of action themselves they can't just wish something into existence they have to take the steps so if they're wanting to, to make amends with you in some way or they're wanting closure from you, they're going to have to reach out. They're going to have to have the courage to have a converse, conversation. That's why I think they're hoping you might do it to take, to take, to ease it, to, to make it easier so they could be the martyr actually, but it's something that they would want so if you're inclined then then reach out to them even if it's just i don't know it's it to give them closure i don't know tantra of 639 hertz that is number 18 let me read that one Be open to that which seems unfamiliar or different. You will experience a breakthrough as you embrace an unusual approach. 
You are on a soul path of accelerated spiritual growth, which is swifter, but not always easier. You do not have to contrive your own happiness, but you can listen to your body and lighten your mental state and remind yourself of everything is working out beautifully. So, what is this trying to tell them? That they um, need to do things differently, basically, I think. Um, Tantra is the willingness of your heart to thoroughly embrace that which might be difficult. So it's difficult to move on or if it's difficult to apologize, it's difficult to make amends, but they need to do something. And things may not go as planned, but they're still going to work out. So um yeah i kind of feel like your person just needs to let go they need some healing i don't know if this helped you or not pile three and if it didn't i'm sorry but I do know this message is going to resonate with somebody. I just don't know what the advice really is here. I think a person's just got to figure things out on their own. I don't know. Let me pull you some charms. Please do what you think is best for you, though, okay? Um, no matter what, what you get from this reading, just always act in your own best interest, not somebody else's. Act in yours. Be an advocate for you and your own um, well-being. Here's some charms. All right, so we have the seashell, which represents knowledge. So know what you want. Okay, know what you want. But we do have the death charm here. So I do feel like this needs to, like, stop. I think you're seeing things a little more clearly than they are. I just feel like they're at a crossroads and they need to pick and choose and they haven't because they're confused about their feelings. They want the magic. They want the mermaid. But they're not going to get it. Not the way that they think they are. But they can still be abundant. They can still find happiness. They just have to figure out how. All right, that's what I have for you, Pile 3. I, like I said, I really do hope it helped you in some way. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light.